All right, what's going on, everyone? We are back to some more Glamory. Um, I know it's been a minute since we recorded some episodes and posted them up, but I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent with the uploads now that everything's uh, sort of fixed on my end. Last time we left off, we completed the second mission and captured, quote-unquote, the second baby that the Chick Trader was looking for. Um, we haven't really gone over the debriefing, which is what we're about to do now, but um, I think we're getting relatively close towards the end of the mod. I think we're like around the... Uh, the 70% mark. I know this mod technically isn't finished in terms of uh, finalizing the story, I believe, but I think there's enough to where we can complete it and then move on to the final chapter, which I believe is, I think it's pronounced Unslad or Unslad. I can't exactly remember the pronunciation of it, but um, that quest is definitely going to be followed up after we finish off uh, Glamoral. And then after that, um, I'll kind of do like a debriefing video on what the next set of quest mods will probably be. But in any case, let's go ahead and get over with the debriefing. How are you feeling? You might be a bit dizzy since you had to drink the Parasite Killer, but be patient. Alright, so what happened with the ghoul outbreak? Even though you removed the source, those who already build cannot turn back. I think the damage will still be felt for a while. Uh, was the baby recovery mission successful? It went well, as far as I heard. The chick trader was attacked by the Thalmor a few times, but he brought it to their base successfully. Yeah, no, we know attacking the Chick Trader is probably not the best idea, because uh, we did that testing, and he's followed by some sort of entity that we, we actually can't take out. Um, also, to note, I am using another method of recording. Um, I'm using uh, what used to be called Shadow Play, which is part of like the GeForce experience rather than OBS, because I heard it helps retain the quality uh, for the same file size. So we're going to test that out and see for this video. Um, let me know how it looks and sounds, and if, if we need to switch back to OBS, I'll definitely switch back. You've done well this time, but the situation next time may not be the same. Always be careful, rookie. Uh, what will be our next mission? Well, just be prepared to leave at any time, but you can rest for a while now. Alright, complete it, Tainted Orphan. A thousand daggers, okay. Uh, we actually checked to take these uh, potions here since they're free, why not? Alright, so we're gonna go check on uh, Lala to, I guess, see how she's doing. I imagine it's gonna, like, kickstart the, uh, the next portion of quest as well um i do want to thank you guys for sticking around for the videos i know they haven't been uploading uh, super consistent as they should be but i want to thank you guys for sticking around with the series i've been enjoying it a lot because as you know skyrim is definitely one of my favorite games and being able to uh breathe more life into it by checking out some of the more popular mods or some mods that uh may get overlooked you know keeps me coming back and playing and I know sometimes I do get tired of playing Skyrim sometimes, but um, being able to take on these quest bots and, and being able to see like new adventures and, and new stories and things like that um, really do keep me coming back and playing. So um, you'll definitely be seeing more content in relation to that. Um, I know I've also been behind on making mod videos. It's just kind of hard to have two different profiles um, in order to create you know videos for those mods but i'm working on it i think i'm going to try and use like a um more default i think mod list for that maybe something like the phoenix flavor or something like that to kind of have like a a get general base so that way i can um i can start doing mod showcases again maybe like short mod showcases and extended ones because there's a couple of videos that i did want to make but i just haven't sat down and made them and i know there was some popular mods that came out that i definitely didn't want to cover but i kind of missed a wave on those but we'll, we'll deal with that um, when we deal with it. Are you going out today too? Where are you going? I want to go with you. Just for a bit. And you should <coughs> stay at home, <coughs> Lalanor. It's just a little errand. Uncle Bran, you've been keeping secrets lately. It's suspicious and I'm going with you. No true Nord keeps secrets. I'm just going on a bounty hunt. Well, then I will go with you. Should I beat up your bounty? No, of course not. You can't even fight, can you? You can swing a sword. I've learned from Mama and Dad. Uh, really? But today's dessert is apple pie. And if you play with the bounty, you won't be able to eat your dessert. Well, um, what should I do? I'm safe here at all <laughs> Priorities. I respect it. Priorities. Apple pie over bounties all day. Oh, you arrived just in time. Come with me for a moment. We need to talk. You going on a bounty hunt? And there's a lot of coin offered. Do you know how much? 10,000 gold. That's a huge amount. Uh, that, God, nothing with that amount ever ends well, but why is the bounty paying so much? Didn't I tell you before, there's a guy who mass produces iron daggers. 
He buys up all the iron and leather and then floods the market with poor quality iron daggers. So the bounty swelled up so much due to the sheer enmity from all the blacksmiths and merchants. Rumor is that even the Dark Brotherhood is aiming to collect. Wow, so... <laughs> so basically what's happening is the guy that we got the iron daggers from earlier is making such poor quality daggers that everyone just hates his guts and wants to kill him. Uh, that's actually pretty fantastic. Why are you suddenly so angry? <laughs> I get this because uh, really it's, a, it's a viable strategy to make a lot of I iron daggers. With my fists. I don't know how people elsewhere would do it, but it's completely normal here in Skyrim. <laughs> that's funny. So yeah, basically like one of the strategies within Skyrim um, early on was to make a bunch of iron daggers to like level up your character extremely quickly. So that's a nice little nod to that. That's funny. I like that. Um, where's this bounty located? There's a cave. I used to hide in when I was a kid. When I went there the other day, a blacksmith workshop had been built up in there. And there were piles of iron daggers all over the cave. That should be it, right? Uh, is that why you're sneaking around recently? It's important to scout ahead. I prepared myself well for the day. I'll take care of the bounty for sure. I mean, shouldn't that bounty be tough if it pays so much? Hey, whoever makes nothing but iron daggers can't be very tough. But even if they are, I'm sure it won't be a problem for us. All right, let's let's go with this. I know it's it's not gonna end well. I knew you'd say that. We'll split up the reward equally. Let's go right now, then. I feel like this is either some type of trap or it's not gonna end up well. Knowing our luck, nothing like this ever ends up well. Cause I I can't imagine someone paying for a 10,000 gold bounty for someone that's making low quality um iron daggers like i mean i guess in the grand scheme of things it would make a little sense if um if it's all of the merchants and all of the uh the people of skyrim collectively put the bounty up i mean i guess that makes a little bit more sense since the merchants are rich i don't know why these lanterns are uh, missing their textures i may have to reinstall the to lanterns um the mod that i have for lanterns because they are definitely missing some of their textures these are listed on here. So where exactly are we going? Uh, looks like we're going to the Iron Daggers factory. Okay, cool. So it's not that far ahead. Um, but yeah, I do have a couple of plans of what I want to upload next in terms of like Skyrim content and then content after that. Because um, Skyrim content is going to be like a primary thing on the channel. I've come to accept that. And um, it's one of the few things that people consistently like to s Excuse me. People like to consistently see. We need to find our way to solitude. Uh, you guys are going the wrong way for solitude. Um, but yeah, I know Skyrim Contest is definitely going to be a thing. Um, I think one thing that I do want to do is, I think once we've kind of... If I... Once I upgrade my computer for sure, um, I plan on starting over the uh, Uchiha Clan playthrough at some point. What I want to do is I want to pick a mod list that encumbers what that mod really is and, and by that i mean um i want to pick a, a mod list that has really good combat um kind of like difficulty in terms of uh the quest and things like that because you can become broken early on um with that mod so i was thinking something along the lines of like maybe wildlander and then editing some of the animations to make it a little bit more fast paced in terms of combat and then adding some survival elements as well and maybe doing like maybe a one life playthrough of it or something but um we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there this place. When I was a brat, I used to play here with Gerard and Lelor. Uh, it's pretty nostalgic for you. Well, that's true. But I'm not saying that it was any better than it is now. I'm a Nord who lives for the present, not the past. So come to think of it, why do you need so much gold? Lalano should go to a magic school. She'll need a staff, robe, spell books, and so on. I think she has a talent for healing. She should go to a good school in the Imperial City rather than here in the countryside. Interesting. So, there is the College of Winterhold here, but I don't know why she, he, she wouldn't take him there. Or he wouldn't take her there rather than going all the way to the Imperial City. No, there's something bad about it. She shouldn't go there. I mean, that's fair. Um... I mean, he's not technically wrong. There's there are some things that uh happen over there in the the College of Winterhold. What in the Temple of uh Kynrith? I know I'm butchering that. Sorry. Be enough. Well, yes, but there's not much to aim for here. 
I want Lalanor to be active in a wider world. Interesting. Okay, so he really does care for this girl. I think she has a talent for. Uh, there's the College of Whispers in Synod in the Imperial City. Are you serious? There are two of them. Well, the Imperial City is a big place after all. Just once, I'd like to go there someday. Yeah, I feel that. I think she has a talent for heal. Gods, no, absolutely not. This is perfectly normal. Nah, it's not normal. He's probably he's taking up the mantle of pretty much taking care of her since. It's kind of within reason that both parents are dead. We go inside and hit the leader and all his friends until there's no one left. That's it. Come on, let's go. Yep, that's a, a typical Nord plan if I've ever heard one. So, uh, all right, yeah, I guess let's get going. Now, since I'm assuming these are all humanoids, um. We should be okay with our steel sword, or two-handed steel sword. Assuming these are all humanoids. Yes, the plan is fine, boss. No one's aware of our plans. Yes, it is. We mix it in with the iron daggers. The guards are tired and don't even check the contents of shipments. I have a little problem, though. The blacksmiths put a price on my head. Could you put some pressure on them to withdraw it? Yes, yes, right. Thank you very much. Glory to the Thalmor. Interesting, so he's working with the Thalmor. Okay. So we got a little bit more information out of that. Seems like they're involved with the Thalmor. Um, let's see. Which button is it again? It's not a V. I know one of these. Uh, or did I make a spell for it? I think I made a spell for it. What's your sign mode? Alright. Alright, so I think since we're dealing with the Thalmor, I think having magic would be a little bit more uh, prevalent here in terms of um, what we should be blocking with Quinn. Because the Thalmor are pretty pretty good with magic, and our character is still relatively weak to magic. Never or maybe not. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well, never mind. We're just, maybe we're just dealing with regular bandits here. Um, I do like the armor replacement here for, like, the uh, the studded armor, the mod that I have. It makes, like, the default armors look uh, a lot better than usual. Who is shooting arrows at me? How dare you? Sometimes that happens when, um, whenever you do execution and, um, they don't end up dying during the execution. But anyways, uh, looks like we have, uh, a lot of stuff here we can check out, so I don't want to miss out on some of these free items. Uh, we don't need the elven sword. So I don't, don't want to miss out on, like, some of the stuff that's possible here. But... Yeah, overall, I'm enjoying this quest mod so much, uh, a lot. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's kind of like, it's not, I, I would say it's not as good as Vigilant. And I think because Vigilant has a lot more to offer in terms of overall story. Excuse me, but I'm enjoying what this quest mod has so far in terms of like the, the overarching story. But I think Vigilant definitely stands, um, stands a little bit higher in regard to, um, into like the overall, like, structure of the mod the, the way that the quest work and, and things like that and the way that you can alter like certain things within the within the story so uh, not to say that this quest mod isn't bad or this this one isn't bad either um i think it just needs to be finished like once it's finished i think it'll definitely um start the rival um vigilant 
because it's not bad in any any means, but it's kind of hard to compare it because there's not even like proper voice acting. Um, I'm using uh, like uh, an AI system that mimics a lot of the dialogue from um, from other Skyrim dialogues to kind of like put it within what we're talking about. So um, that is something to consider. Come on, come on. Yeah, like these guys are going to be really that tough, especially since I thought there was going to be more focus on magic. Uh, Quinn is definitely taking care of them. Um, it's going to be really hard for them to penetrate my defenses because of the way that I got everything set up. Um, at some point, I do actually need to go back. Uh, can I craft anything that's worth a damn? No, not really. Um, yeah, not really anything I need to craft or anything. Uh, so we're good here. Can I actually fix my weapons while we're here? Because I think that might be a, a bit uh, rusted here. Is there any place for that? I don't think so. It's just more forges here. Um, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it makes sense. There's a lot of forges here because this is where they was doing a lot of the iron daggers and oh jesus christ there's so many iron daggers i didn't even realize that there is a lot of iron daggers here jesus christ i mean it makes sense again the whole purpose while we're here but yeah they was not kidding when they said they're uh mass producing a bunch of low quality daggers but there's also something something hidden inside the daggers as well uh we didn't find out exactly what it is I don't know why he didn't do anything to us except putting up a ward um i mean technically we do have a ward um i think we have a ward mod that that wards acts as shields like regular shields so i guess in hindsight that makes sense but didn't really do much either uh, a lot of stuff around here um let's see daggers lots of ale cool uh let's see inside the satchel <laughs> I do like this, uh, I do like this, uh, this one mod that changes, like, the locks of everything. Like, it changes, like, the, the way that each lock looks, um, to make it a little bit more unique. What is, oh, this is a master one, that's why it's so, so difficult, okay. Alright, well, per usual, I'm not gonna, like, sit here and have you guys suffer from me going through, like, the lock process here. It's actually pretty cool though, it does say like open, like it says lock and then it changes to open whenever you uh, like find the right, um, find like the right position for the lock pick, that's pretty cool, that's that's a nice touch. That is a flawless emerald, I'll take that. So, and I do like the structure um, of this mod so far, like the different areas that you've been able to adventure to. Alright, what's going on here? I don't like the look of this. Um, Someone's gonna pop out of here. Usually, the good place for that. Filthy little scurrying rats, scrabbling for gold. Your crimes are heavy, aren't they? Shut up! Come out at once. Go aggressive. Fine. Then we do it the hard way. You'll die lamenting your own weakness. School expenses. No, the bounty will show up. Get ready. Whoa! What the? A uh, cold? Coldivic? What the hell? What the hell is this? Whatever it is, it's pretty strong. Ah, a good one, but there'll be nothing left. 
I'm going down, then I'm taking you with me. What the hell? From here before it all breaks down. All right, Jesus. Oh, that's okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. I think we made it out. Or did the explosion? <laughs> what happened? I think the explosion knocked us out. I hope Brand's not dead. Uh oh. Ooh, and then the bearman with a bow beyond his head blew up his forge and tried to take us with him. What happened then? That blast was nothing but a breeze for us. We've escaped from the cave before it crumbled down. But we left something important there. Do you know what it was, Lalano? What was it? Uh, I know. You left the bounty, right? Yes, Lalano. We left the criminal's head there. And so we have no prize gold. I'm really sorry, Lalano. If we had that gold, we could send you to a good school. Don't worry, Uncle Brandt. It's fine. I can be here with everyone. And when I grow up, I will go to the Temple of Pinar. The temple is closer to Falkirk than the Imperial City, too, so it will be easy to visit everyone. Lalano, are you sure? If you went to the Imperial City, you'd be able to eat many different sweets. Well, maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> Again, priorities. I respect that. Oh, all our effort was for nothing. It would have been nice if I could carry both you on the bounty. Alright, well, thank you for carrying me back. I appreciate that. You got hit by the rocks and it knocked you out. Helping friends is normal, so don't worry about it. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I guess we did build up a friendship with him. We've been through a lot. I'm glad he's not dead. That definitely would have uh, made me feel some type of way. I went to the cave to see if there was anything left when you were unconscious. Rubble scattered everywhere, so I can't continue. Most quick, most, eh. most get rich quick schemes tend to end like that, unfortunately. Oh, don't tell me you have no ambition. Imagine there is a pile of gold in front of you. Wouldn't you just pounce on it? It depends, but it's time for me to leave. Take some more rest. Even with Lalano's magic, you can still get tired, right? Unfortunately, I have some other business to attend to. Oh, I don't know what you actually do, but don't strain yourself too much. I'm not going to lie to you. That's really hard to answer that question because uh, even I'm not exactly sure what all I do. Um, I, I guess you could just say I'm kind of like a merc for hire at this point. Um, You're always welcome here. God, it's, that's a really loaded question that I think about it. <laughs> but I'd assume right now we're going to have another mission. Um, from the trick, or the chick trader, or from the uh, the witch hunt, um, after that little fiasco, which I mean it's unfortunate. We definitely could have. Uh, I mean, it's not like we need five thousand gold. Um, I mean, we have a pretty good amount of gold, right? <laughs> it's not like we needed the five thousand gold at the end of the day, but it would have been nice to actually like get a proper reward for like the mess that we've dealt with. So I mean, it's fine. In any case, we'll just we'll deal with it. So, uh, all right, let's see what this owl has to say, because clearly he's probably not too happy with this. I've lost another old friend. It's always painful to say farewell. One never gets used to it. Oh, but why are you still fighting? Why am I still fighting? To protect something, to gain something, because it feels good to me. All fairly good answers. Um, honestly, it's more to so just to protect the uh, Manoa at this point. You are not the only one who will get blood aid in the process. That is why you should avoid the struggle even more. Keep that in mind. We're going to find the daughter of Kine. One was tainted by you, so put down your weapon before it's too late. The blood curse can only sleep in peace. Hmm. Again, I feel like... <sighs> There's two parts to that. One is maybe a warning, but another one may be trying to throw me off the course of what I'm supposed to be doing. So, but uh, as we imagine, we do have another mission probably from um, the witch hunters to probably find maybe a third daughter or maybe a third baby. I'm not exactly sure, but um, I figured, yeah, every time we complete something for Lenoa, it's kind of like checking in on her. That gives us a little bit of ample time to, to start our next mission. All right, so what do you got for me, chief? Hey, okay. Your favorite, 8,284 is here to pick you up. Oh, is it my birthday? Wrong. I don't even have to tell you anymore, do 
a rookie. You know why I'm here. All right. So what's the mission? A great answer, rookie. It looks like you got used to this job. As your senior, I am proud of you. Now come back to the temple. It's almost time for the next orders to arrive. All right. I don't want to work. <laughs> Don't be selfish, rookie. Killing things that don't work is the hunter's rule. <laughs> oh, that's fair. All right. Better soon. So let's do our best today, rookie. All right. So I'll go to the temple when I'm ready. Oswald is impatient. Don't be late. All right. Fantastic. So, uh, looks like we're heading back to the to the temple. Man, it is raining pretty hard. Jesus, it is really raining. Um, but yeah. In any case, let's go ahead and head back to the temple, and then we'll get the mission briefing. Um probably for the next hunt and I think once we get the mission briefing that'd be a good time um, to cut this part uh, I so probably off screen I'll probably do some of these missions as well um, just to kind of get a little bit more points into um, get a little more points into these apparently these don't affect um, the story whatsoever so it's free upgrades which have quite a bit um, do the custom skills work? I really need to get this fixed. I don't know why this isn't working, like, for the Witcher skill, so I can't, like, use my Witcher points. Um, it may be something that has to do with, um, the fact that I'm using AE instead, so I'm, that may have something to do with it. I'll definitely check and see. Um, but yeah, that definitely should be working, but unfortunately it's not. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of these side missions that we can do to kind of get a little bit more points. Um, so I may do some of those off-screen, but in any case... Um, we'll go ahead and continue on. So, this is the beast of- Oh! You've done well to kill such a large beast by yourself. Right. This has solved the case of Talos Warshippers' murders. I got a large reward, too. I can now live comfortably for several years. But this isn't the only thing that brought you here, is it? The Thalmor were involved in this. They are using monsters like this one here and there. No, not that. What does the Chick Trader want us to do, Cedric? Still working so hard. But yes, I've come here on behalf of the Chick Trader. He wants you to infiltrate the Thalmor facility and steal a certain key. The place is called Ismer's Howl. Is that the Temple City of Talos? That's going to be troublesome. Correct. Good luck. Oh, okay. Well, we have our next mission, and we have a new person here, uh, Cedric. I think we've heard of his name before. I kind of like his armor. Uh, it's it's the same as um, I mean, I guess it's kind of the same as Oswald's, but um, just missing like the the neck piece or the cape part. But I think we'll go with the mission briefing on the next video. Um, I know this is a little bit on the shorter side, but hopefully you guys enjoy. And yeah, I think we'll be finishing off Glamour relatively soon. I want to say we we have a. Maybe a couple more videos into it until we like get towards the end of the of the mod itself. Because I think we're fairly uh, fairly along. I'm not entirely sure, but um, hopefully you guys enjoy. It. And as always, if you do, please leave a like on the video, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. Take care.